Hurricane Ida, the COVID-19 pandemic and the fallout from violent crime has touched most everyone here in Southeast Louisiana. Our children have likely suffered the most with these blows wreaking havoc on their education and their mental health. Our Whitney Miller dives into what a local school is doing to make sure its students can heal. We understand how it is to feel alone, depressed, stressed and things like that. Just ask any teenager you know, and if they are being honest, they will likely tell you navigating their teen years is tough. Just trying to maintain everything all at once and still keep my sanity. When we talked to these Destrahan students in early 2023, they told us... There's so many pressures. There's peer pressure. People, <laughs> they will lead you in the the wrong path completely, like vaping, drugs. You see so much going on for people you would never expect it. And it's like everyone, like you can't turn away from it. It's a problem. In January, the students at Eleanor McMain told us how gun violence drove their anxiety. You might have just saw that person yesterday walking through the hallway and now the next day they're gone. Like, that's traumatizing, honestly. Like him, students at Warren Easton are no stranger to that trauma. They walked into school and were told their friend died. Not, I heard this, you know, on, the, on my way or the other day, I, the baby not here today. Last school year, two freshmen were killed within two weeks of each other, both by gunfire. This is my space. Elizabeth Jones is a licensed clinical social worker with Access Health, an outside program housed at Warren Easton. She was the only one on staff when those students died. A 15-year-old should not lose their life. That's in, in the way that that happens. That's not, it shouldn't happen. So that's also some of that shows up with them. But then when you are at the state of development where you get it, but you still don't get it in a sense. Um, but you also understand that this shouldn't happen, but it keep happening. And like, what am I next type of thing? So you battling with a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, this is me trying to both educate and comfort. Experts say there's a shortage of mental health support in schools across the country. The National Association of Psychologists suggests that there be one psychologist for every 500 students. But the reality is there's actually about one for every 1,000 students, and in some cases, 5,000 students. And then there are some schools that don't have any at all. They're telling you that uh, we just need a lot of support in understanding and loving. We sat down with Easton Principal Mervyn Jackson to find out how he's filling those gaps. And I could not even imagine to lose a student. I mean, I'm sure these kids feel like your kids. Yeah, they are my kids. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are our kids. They're, we're a family. Education is a calling. He says he's had to get creative in addressing the mental health needs of the students and the staff at Warren Easton. Reducing distractions by taking cell phones from students at the start of the day and making sure all teachers are trained to handle trauma. Social workers and psychiatrists are very important, but we just don't have enough of them. So our teachers are trained to counsel the children who are chosen, and teachers are chosen by the children. If they feel that someone is safe and they can entrust them themselves and their secrets to those people, that's who they go to. In addition to Elizabeth Jones, the school hired two other social workers, Devante Gathers and Diana Sequeira. I also have a big um, a massage chair in my room, and so um, being able to come into my office to to relax, to have that space where it's quiet, um, where we can talk about things. There's just a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on some of these students. Without a social worker, what do you do? And the teacher can't stop teaching. You have 20 something students in the class. Everybody gonna cry because everybody has a story. So am I supposed to stop teaching? And then I have to respond to the social emotional aspect of it. Principal Jackson says on top of dealing with grief and loss, he understands in New Orleans, teens get a bad rep when it comes to violence in our community. Do you think that the students get an unfair lumping in just because they're a teenager? They do. Every individual is unique and they have different needs. 
and we have to find out how to address those needs of that individual and put them on the right path. He's hoping the work being done at Warren Easton will turn that negative light into something positive. There are a lot of good things going on in the uh, schools throughout the city. Don't wipe everybody with one swipe and figure they all are bad, but they got a bunch of good things going on in public schools in New Orleans. Give the kids a chance. At Warren Easton, Whitney Miller, WWL, Louisiana.